geometry. Parameters are like mathematical variables in that they are defined by a value, which can then be used to define sketch elements, feature sizes, and even geometry across multiple components. Parameters can be defined by a single numerical value, defined by an equation, and can even reference other parameters. In this last scenario, multiple aspects of a model can be updated simultaneously by changing a single parameter, giving you a tremendous amount of control over the model. This shackle design was created using two sketches and two extrude commands. I'll incorporate some parameters into this model so that I can rapidly make changes and alter the geometry. To begin, I'll show how to make changes at the sketch level. I'll edit the first sketch in the timeline, and I'll add a dimension to the inner circle at the bottom. I'll set this value to 40 millimeters, and notice that a value appears in front of the numerical value below. This is an automatically generated parameter that can be used to define future dimensions. For instance, if I add another dimension to the outer circle, I can click on the last dimension I added, which adds the parameter into this dimension. In this case, I want this circle to be 30 millimeters larger, so I'll add 30 to the parameter and hit enter. Because these two dimensions are linked, if I change the 40 millimeter diameter to another value, the outer circle updates simultaneously. Next, I'll set the construction circle at the top equal to the size of the outer circle at the bottom. I'll add a dimension, then click on the dimension below to set it equal to that parameter, and now both circles will remain the same size. To finish adding dimensions to this sketch, I'll define the width of the vertical lines on the sides of the shackle. I'll create the dimension. And in this case, I want it to relate back to the diameter of the outer circle at the bottom. I'll select that dimension to bring up its parameter, and then subtract 20 millimeters. Now, all three circles and the width are associated with one another. So, if I change the inner circle's diameter back to 40 millimeters, all of the sketch elements update together. I'll go ahead and stop the sketch for now and move on to show you how parameters can be used to control feature sizes. I'll roll forward in the timeline to include two cutouts in the shackle, which I'll control using parameters. The goal is for both slots to have equal widths. To do this, I'll create a user-defined parameter rather than using ones that are automatically generated. To access all of the parameters found in the model, I'll expand the Modify menu and select Change Parameters from the list. Here, I can adjust all existing parameters, including the automatically generated ones, as well as create new parameters. You can see here that I've already created a few parameters I defined myself, which were given the names Length, Diameter, and Bore. For the slot width, I'll create a new parameter by clicking on the plus sign next to User Parameters. And I'll call this new parameter Slot and give it a value of 12 millimeters. Now I'll define the slot widths using this parameter. I'll right-click on the inside face of the slot, then select Edit Profile Sketch. I'll add a dimension to the line at the top and type in slot to set the dimension equal to that parameter. I'll repeat this for the bottom slot as well. I'll edit the profile sketch, add a dimension, and type slot to set it equal to the parameter. Now both slot widths are controlled by this parameter and can be modified simultaneously. If I access the user parameters once again, and change the slot value to 18 millimeters, both slots update together. I want these other user-defined parameters to control the model geometry as well. They'll be applied to the original sketch geometry, so I'll edit that sketch once again, 
set the distance between the circles to length, the inner circle diameter to bore, and the outer circle diameter to diameter. Now, if I stop the sketch and bring back the parameters list, I can make some changes to the values, including having bore being associated with diameter by making it 30 millimeters smaller, and the model updates with each change. Lastly, I'd like to show you how to relate model geometry across multiple components using parameters. If I roll forward in the timeline, there are two other eye bolts centered in the slots of the shackle component. However, the hole diameter is much smaller than the shackle size. I want to make these similar in size, only 2 millimeters smaller. To do this, I'll edit the sketch profile of the eye bolt and set the inner diameter equal to bore minus 2 millimeters. Now, when I stop the sketch, both eye bolts resize at the same time and are just slightly smaller than the shackle component. Now I have a great amount of control over not only the shackle component, but also the eye bolts, which can be updated together simply by changing the value of a parameter.